basic roles. We um, we learn to play roles early on in the the uh, the game of learning to play the five string banjo, and then pretty quickly after that, we realize that much of what we play is not really based on roles. Some tags are based on roles, but the real reason that we learn to play roles right up front is simply to acquaint our hand with the strings so that they know, we know where they are. I'm planting my fingers here. When I pick, my hand doesn't move. Just the fingers. So my fingers are learning where the strings are. And we will play fragments of roles in uh, tags and arrangements, but basically what we're just learning to do is create a sense of timing, because this is re really this is a drum. We're playing a drum that plays notes. So these percussive strokes that we're doing here, this plucking that we're doing, are, are, are designed to make a percussive sound. Very different from a guitar or a mandolin or a violin for sure. So anyway, here's some basic roles. The first one that everybody almost always winds up hearing about is the forward roll. The strings go in number from top to bottom, five, four, three, two, one, which is a little confusing because on the five string banjo, the fifth string is the highest pitched string and it's nearest to you, but it's right next door to the lowest pitched string, the fourth string. So in a typical forward roll, what we would do is start with the fifth string with our thumb, then index on the third, the middle string, then middle finger on the first string. And you repeat that cycle. Now you can you can see that we have a, a problem here with mathematics. We have three picks, we have five strings, and we're shooting for eight note groups, eight or sixteen note groups, so the math doesn't work out. An easy way to, uh, to deal with that is to make a four note pattern with your right hand and the double thumb roll does that. I'm hitting the thumb on the third string, index on the second string, thumb again on the fifth string, and then middle on the first string. And you notice when I start this roll my fingers are already on the strings. At first the hand wants to go back into this kind of relaxed position like this. As you become more efficient at what you're doing there's an economy of motion thing that happens. And really, the next pick that I, or the next string I'm going to play, that pick is already on it. So I'm going to hit my thumb first on the three. My index finger is already on the two. My thumb is back to the five. That's a double thumb roll. I'm going to cover that in a little bit. The reason I say that is because what Earl Scruggs really did with this instrument, there were other guys around that were playing with three fingers uh, before him and at the same time. He he realized that all he had to do to make eight notes was do a forward roll twice, then just repeat two notes. So suddenly the banjo has this rolling driving sound that it had not had before him. So that's a way to make eight notes out of a, a forward roll. You can also do this, and this is a little trickier, but imagine you're, you're doing a two, count, or a two or four count. If I just play three notes, that's a waltz. It's one, two, three, one, two, three. But I can do this. I can throw the emphasis forward each time through so that the finger, so that a finger is hitting on the backbeat. I'm going to demonstrate. And you'll do some of that in your playing, so that's that's something to know. There's the backwards roll, just the mirror image of what we just did. Middle, index, thumb, one, three, five. And then what I did before, the double thumb roll. Three, two, five, one, thumb, index, thumb, thumb, middle, sorry. If you're looking at this on paper, and this is one of the, the shortcomings of paper learning methods, is it looks like four flat notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
what we're really shooting for is is a bounce or a cadence like this and those notes those emphasis notes agree with we're playing four notes for every two that the guitar the guitar is doing this and we're going one two three four one two three four one two Third roll, uh, inside out roll. This one looks really tricky, but I find that students actually pick this one up pretty quickly. The strings go three, two, one, five, one, two, three, two. And you'll notice that's eight notes. That's an eight note roll. Whereas we would have to do two four note rolls to equal, two double thumb rolls to equal one inside out roll. Thumb, index, middle, thumb, middle, index, thumb, index. And there's a, there's a cadence to this one, too. Instead of... Hear the difference? Really, any... It's not like there's a, there's a library of roles out there that we all must play. Any combination of eight notes that you can come up with that you can repeat in a pattern as a roll. Uh, here, here's one. Five, two, one, five, two, one, two, one. Or five, three, one, five, three, one, three, one, five, three, one, five, three, one, three, one. Any combination you can come up with. So that's basic rolls.